How you doing today everybody? Jerry at Aaron's Marine in Camden, Missouri. Coming to you on about a 97 degree day here in uh, Camden. <clears throat> Excuse me, it is, it is a toasty one out there so I hope you all are staying uh, cool today. I wanted to talk to you today make a quick video on carburetor cleaning. I've got a carburetor here on the workbench that I've just recently cleaned. And uh, it's off of a Mercury 40. And uh, this is kind of what a carburetor should look like when it's clean. Physically clean on the outside and very, very squeaky clean on the inside. Uh, some of the boats that we get in sometimes will have customers that'll say, I had my carburetors rebuilt, uh, you know, got charged several hundred dollars and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the engine doesn't run right. Took it down to go fishing and uh, dies out backing it off the trailer and dies while we're trolling and so forth. And I look at the carburetor and I think, gosh, it's not even clean on the outside, so the inside must not be very good. And uh, But you can see I've rebuilt this carburetor. I'm getting ready to install the fuel bowl here. It should be absolutely squeaky clean. And uh, in order to get this type of... Uh, cleanliness here. I use uh, mercury power tune. I, I need to disassemble the carburetor of course to do that and then we follow it up with the CRC carburetor cleaner. The power tune will go in and soak all of the contaminants out, uh, get rid of the gum and varnish and you know even if you take perfect care of your outboard over the years eventually you're gonna have to have the carburetors rebuilt. They just get some varnish on them and, and uh, a few little specks of debris once in a while so you know, after so long, you're going to have to do it. And uh, on this particular one, we put a new inlet needle. I'm going to zoom in on that for you. Purpose of the inlet needle, that meters the amount of fuel that's in the fuel bowl here. When the float floats and the bowl is full, it pushes up on the inlet needle, which is kind of underneath that little tab there and that turns the fuel off coming into the carburetor and it goes up and down as needed to keep it full. Uh, the other thing that I see a lot and I'm seeing it more every year people will go down and they'll buy a can of uh, I call it uh, genie in a bottle or a mechanic in a, can, in a can here. This is Walmart's knockoff version of uh, sea foam here in the middle, the super tech stuff. We'll pour that in the engine, and if that doesn't work, we'll put two cans in, and then let's take it for a ride up and down the lake until it cleans the carburetor. Well, what happens is that's the worst thing you can do to a two-cycle engine. You're going to end up, if you do have a fuel restriction in the carburetor, you're going to end up with a burned-up power head. Keep in mind that all of the lubricating oil on this particular carburetor, uh, your oil comes in with the fuel. Even with oil injection, the engine adds oil to the fuel stream before it goes to the carburetors. You've got some tiny little holes on this orifice here uh, where all of this mixture has to go through. So if you get a speck of debris in there and you're relying on sea foam or the motor tune-up or any of this other stuff to clean it, you're going to end up in hot water because you, you could potentially burn up a power head. I've seen that happen so many times. And I think, geez, a carburetor repair would have fixed that engine and kept it going. And uh, they're not making any more of these good two-cycle engines anymore. I'm kind of an old-school guy. I like uh, two-cycle. They're lighter. They've got more torque. And uh, it's much more economical to repair what you have versus uh, buying a new four-stroke to replace it. So uh, I just don't like uh, additives. I've got some setting out here. You can ignore my display cleaner. That shouldn't be over there. Uh, the two on the right I use for a disassemble carburetor. Those are not meant to clean a carburetor that's on the motor put together. The one on the left I don't recommend. Sea foam, uh, any of this other kind of stuff is a waste of money. Uh, you'd be surprised. I've got probably uh, four boats in my shop back here right now. Probably probably three of these have sea foam in the gas, not to pick on anybody. Uh, they've all got sea foam in the gas and they've been brought in for repair and that's no joke. 
Uh, and again, not to pick on anybody with seafoam, but I think people uh, buy this stuff uh, with the impression that it's going to be a quick fix for them. I would recommend to keep that money to buy more gas or oil with because I can't tell you how many boats come in my shop here with additives, heat, uh, they think they've got water in the gas, uh, they're going to put heat in there, a couple cans of sea foam, they try all that then they bring it in to get it fixed. So, uh, Just my opinion, I know the internet's full of videos and YouTube about people pouring that stuff in their engine and it does all this miracle uh, work. Uh, I wouldn't give a nickel a can for it to be honest with you, that's how much I like it. But uh, As far as the smoking of the engine when you add these additives, that doesn't mean anything. I can just take regular 30 weight oil and uh, spray it into the intake of this engine and it's going to smoke like crazy. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's doing anything. We're just we're just adding oil, so don't let that fool you. If you really want to clean your engine, the Quicksilver Power Tune, and I think I put a video out a while back about that. If you want a good additive that actually does something, get the Quicksilver Power Tune. I've got it. You can go to a Mercury dealer and get it. Uh, follow the directions on the can. Now that actually is a product that works uh, way, way better than sea foam or all the other miracle cures they've got out. It actually works. So I just wanted to kind of give you my opinion on carburetor repair. You know, if you don't do a carburetor kit, a new inlet needle, and clean the carburetor, you know, you're really not getting anything accomplished in my opinion. You're just kind of spinning your wheels. One other thing I forgot to mention here, and it's going to be hard for me to do this, this little wire right here is going into the low speed orifice on this carburetor. So all metered fuel after it goes through all those little passages has got to come out those two little holes right there. It'll come through that kind of J-shaped little uh, place in the casting there and then it's going to exit out those holes. Can you see how small those holes are right there? I mean they are they look bigger on the camera than what they are. I mean these things are tiny. So I don't see how additives in the gas is going to push all the contaminants and the debris in the carburetor out those holes because you know it's got to go from the fuel bowl all the way through all the passages and end up coming out right here and I mean this is a tiny little exit hole so you be the judge on that there's just no way you're going to get contaminants out of your carburetor with an additive a pint of additive and 15 20 gallons of gas and expect it to clean all that out and push it all out that hole because that's the only way it can get out remember it's got to come out through the carburetor nozzles uh, fuel injectors I don't believe much in magic additives on that. Here's kind of a demonstration in my mind of a fuel injector. Uh, each time the injector fires gives you kind of like this Windex bottle here. Except it's much much faster of course. So there again it's such a tiny little hole that it comes out you just can't get these additives to clean these injectors and carburetors. Uh, I think the people that actually think that they're getting results from that, I think it's more likely fresh gasoline added to the tank and they run the engine and it kind of stirs things up and cleans things a little to make it run better. And I think people mistake that for actual results. So anyway, I'll get off my soapbox here. Uh, I've seen it for years. It's getting worse because we've got all the additives at Walmart and what have you in the aisles. Rows of... Uh, magic treatments in a can. So anyway, just my opinion as a mechanic. So we will talk to you later and uh, thank you for watching.